Hello everyone. I'm Shujay Mahmood. With me is Arman Khostu. Yeah. We are here to represent Team Bangladesh, a robotics team Bangladesh. And today we'll talk about our experience in the high school robot Olympics and what this means for our country. 186 countries, over 2,500 competitors and five Bangladeshis. This was undoubtedly one of the proudest moments of our lives to represent our country on such a stage. But first, we should talk about how we got here. So why don't we start before this competition, before we knew anything about robotics. So back in 2016, I was a lost guy. I didn't know what to do. I was looking into a lot of stuff, and I got interested in programming and robotics. But everywhere I looked, I saw that the doors were closed, only open to people with degrees, engineering degrees. Then I found out about the Tech Academy. A lot of people recommended me about the Tech Academy. Tech Academy was opened by Shams Jaber to open the doors of programming, robotics, and electronics to kids all over Bangladesh. So I researched about Tech Academy after I got the recommendations and found out a TED talk, yes, a TED talk, given by Abrar and Safwan. They were students of the Tech Academy. Abrar, by the way, is the youngest TEDx speaker worldwide. So our journey continued. In the Tech Academy, we do project-based learning, so we work on a lot of projects. Our first challenge is to make a Bangladesh flag using a graphical uh, programming library called Processing in Java. So this flag would mean a lot to us later on in this story. So I joined the Tech Academy about a year after Shujoy, so I was put in a different batch than him entirely. I didn't even get to know him until a few months down the line, our mentor, Shams Jabir, took, us, took me aside and told me about first global challenge, which is sort of like the Olympics for robotics, where each country sends a team. He also told me that he was in charge of making a team to represent Bangladesh and that I was a candidate for the team. So of course, I was extremely surprised because I had not really had much experience with robotics at that point. Rather, I had been doing programming. But a couple of weeks went by and Shams took me aside, told me he had decided his, the team and that I was a part of it. So along with us, in the team was Razin Ali, Lale Naz Bergman Hossein, and Anahita Anwara. So with the team selected, we got to work on our robot with the help of our mentors Shams Jaber, Erfan, and Shoaib Mirza. So right off the bat, we were stuck with bad luck. You know Bangladesh's customs and what they're like, so our robot got stuck in customs for two months. This of course meant that we already were two months behind every other country, but, you know, Bangladeshis, we don't like to give up. Yeah. So with a month left to prepare, we not only designed our robot, but we built it in just one month. And in that month, we were finally prepared to go, go to Mexico and represent our country. So with that, with our robot built, we went to the airport and prepared to go to Mexico. So. The night of the flight, we were really excited. We had that pumped up feeling. We were Team Bangladesh, representing Bangladesh in the Robot Olympics. It was a gruesome journey of 40 hours with two transits, one in Qatar and one in America. So, you can see a picture of us. This is in the Dallas airport. And after that 28 hours of flying, we were all communicating home, except me, who seems to be doing some ancient telepathic, spiritual, whatever because my brain was just off. And, oh, just a tidbit of a story. While we were coming back, the, I was stopped in the transit of America, in Dallas, and I knew something was going to go wrong, because before I entered the checking, they pronounced my name wrong from Mahmoud to Mohammed, and you know something's going to go wrong when that happens. And they're checking my bag, checking my bag, and just under my bag, they find a knife. So they found this my dangerous weapon, a butter knife, and they stopped me. After that, they let me in, but they took the knife. So I would recommend you guys not to take a butter knife in any of your flights. <laughs> then we go uh, to our event hotel, which was huge. They had people from all over the world, 186 countries, from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe. You see all of them there. And the next day, we go to the competition flooring, and the Arena de Ciudad de Mexico, the largest auditorium, the largest arena in Mexico City, 
we go in with that Bangladesh, Team Bangladesh feeling as celebrities. We're walking, people are clapping, shouting Bangladesh, taking our pictures, and then we go into the common area of the teams. And then we see the power of STEM in the air. You see all the countries working on their robots, fixing their mechanisms, writing better code, communicating, networking with other teams, and decorating their stalls. After all that, we go to the opening ceremony. The opening ceremony, just like the Olympics, starts with the Parade of Nations. So we wear our Punjabis, and the girls wear their sharis, and proudly we walk onto the stage, swinging our gamchas, and showing the world that Bangladesh has a spot in science, technology, engineering, mathematics in the world. So after the opening ceremony, it was time for our matches. So luckily, we had two practice matches to figure out any errors with our robot. And during those matches, we found a major error. Our robot kept disconnecting from the controller. So of course, this meant that no matter how good our controller is, how good our robot is, if there's no one to control it, then there's no point. And the most frustrating part about this was that it wasn't even our error. It was an error with the arena itself. Because there were so many robots there, our signal kept intercepting each other, which meant that, of course, the robot would get disconnected. So we had this error, and it